Hello everyone. Welcome back to another exciting chess game from the history of chess. And this is a chess game from the St. Petersburg Chess Tournament from 1914. And in this chess game, white is Hozerol Capablanca and his opponent is Joseph Henry Blackburn. Hozerol Capablanca was known as the human chess machine. That was his nickname. On the other hand, Blackburn was known as the Black Dead of Chess. That's a scary nickname, isn't it? Capablanca's nickname, the human chess machine, feels like it is from a science fiction novel by Robert Heinlein. But on the other hand, Blackburn's nickname, the Black Dead of Chess, feels more like it is from a horror novel by Stephen King or something. Who is going to be victorious in this chess game, the human chess machine or the Black Dead of Chess? Let's check out how this chess game went on. And the St. Petersburg Chess Tournament was a very tough chess tournament. And this is the chess game in the tournament from round 11. And let's check out what happened in this chess game from 1914. Capablanca starts the game with playing e4. And we have the Rue Lopez opening the Spanish game. Knight to d4. Exchanging. Castling. g6. Well, Blackburn was the Black Death of Chess, which is a scary nickname. But Capablanca was a legend. Don't forget that. So watch this chess game carefully. Watch this incredible chess game carefully. An incredible chess game by Capablanca. And as you can see, Blackburn is attacking from the queen side, which looks scary. It is a scary attack by the Black Death of Chess from the queen side. Exchanging. Joseph Henry Blackburn was one of the most important chess masters from the 19th century. Lining the rook with the queen, a6, h3 by Capablanca, defending, g4, advancing from the king side. Blackburn is advancing from the queen side, but Capablanca is advancing from the king side. Exchanging the bishops, f5, pushing the pawn, king to h2, knight to c6, rook to g1, Lining the rook with the king, knight to d8, and Capablanca captured the pawn. He wants to open the g-file. It is that simple. Rook takes on f5, knight to h4, but rook to h5. Blackburn said, I am the black dead of chess. I am here to get you. I am going to take you into the darkness, which is a scary move by black dead. As you can see, also attacking the knight and lining the rook with the king. You can't escape from me. This is what Black Dead said. A scary voice said Capablanca. I am here to get you. But then Capablanca said. The human chess machine said. I am a chess machine. I have no emotions. I have no feelings. My serial number 64, 50, 73, 21. 66 slash 01 target locked execute terminate this is what chess machine said and he attacks Capablanca sacrificed his knight what a move an incredible move by the machine Blackburn was not expecting this he was definitely not expecting this an incredible attack by Capablanca the human chess machine attacks. Blackburn accepted the sacrifice, but then Rook takes on g6 by Capablanca. Also attacking the queen, defending the queen. What is the move? What is the next move of Capablanca? This is the next move. Target locked. I am a machine. Sacrifice. This is what Capablanca did. He plays like a machine, isn't it? Like a chess machine. What an incredible attack by Capablanca. Check. Mission objective. Terminate. Destroy the opponent. This is what the computer said. The machine said. Capablanca is playing like a machine. Blackburn couldn't believe what is happening to him. He captured the rook, but then checking the king. Moving the king and attacking. Blackburn didn't know what to do. In this position, he sacrificed the rook, which was the funniest move in the tournament by far. 
<laughs> Look at this move. A funny move. Well, Capablanca captured the rook and Blackburn reside. <laughs> it is that simple. Don't mess with the human chess machine. Which nickname is scarier? The Black Death or the human chess machine? Well, I think the human chess machine actually is scarier than the Black Death. Some say the computers are going to be even so much more advanced in the future. And right now, even look at Alpha Zero. It is plain scary. Some say the machines can conquer the world. Like in the Terminator movie. Machines don't have emotions, don't have feelings. They only do their job. With no mistake, this is what Capablanca did. Like in the Terminator movie, he did no mistake. He defended Blackburn's weak and feeble attack. And then he counterattacked to Blackburn and destroyed his opponent. Well, in this position, why did Blackburn play that hilarious move? Well, let's say rook to h8, then check, and this is losing. By the way, white has two extra pawns, don't forget that. And against Capablanca, you have no chance. And if rook to h4, what happens then? Then check, 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 checkmate, checkmate. There is no defense. Black is getting checkmated. And if knight to f7, which was the only move for defending, for not getting checkmated, for prolonging the game, but then capturing the rook. Simple and beautiful. An incredible chess game by Jose Raul Capablanca. The human chess machine did it again. Capablanca was probably the most favorite chess master of Bobby Fischer. Bobby Fischer admired Capablanca's style, his simple chess. Fischer said, Alehin had a heavy style. His style was not my taste. I prefer Capablanca. His style was much more brilliant and talented. Capablanca was much more brilliant and talented. This is what Bobby Fischer said. And he also said Capablanca was fantastic. As you can see, he really was fantastic. And did you see this attack? Knight takes on g6. Rook takes on g6. And then Rook takes on g7. Capablanca's Rook was behaving like a truck with no brakes. Going down the road. Who can stop this rook? And then, after this move, Blackburn couldn't believe what happened to him. He sacrificed the rook and then resigned. <laughs> it is that simple. What a game. And thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.